Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today we're gonna to be working with fonts. So I wanna show you how to get all the different characters in there and how to design um, a sweatshirt like this one. So before we get started though, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support that I can get. All right, we're gonna switch this out, but before we do that, um, I do wanna show you, this is HTV from Polytape, and they are now selling it on Amazon, so it's so nice and easy. This is from their Turbo line, which means that it only takes three to five seconds to press it which also means then that you're not gonna burn your blank because from three to five seconds, you're not gonna, it's not gonna do anything to the to the sweatshirt. But I also, I know you can't really tell, although I'm looking on camera, but I wanna just run my hands through it so that you can see it doesn't snag. It It's not sublimation, so it's not embedded into the sweatshirt um, because that's just like the ink with sublimation, the ink, um, when you add heat to it, it turns from a solid into a gas and it, it sinks into the blank. That's different. That's like completely embedded. But this is a close second. So you can see like my hands, it's smooth. You can hear it. There's nothing snagging on it. The other thing that I want to point out is the color is gorgeous. Um, and also that... Um, it's just really thin. Some of this is really thin, right? And you can see it's not going anywhere. It's in there. So it cuts well. It um, adheres quickly, three to five seconds. And when I say three to five seconds, so what they do is they give you a range in temperature. I believe it's like 265, and then the high end is three. Hold on, I have it somewhere here. Um, I think it's 320, 320 degrees. So what that range means is if you're gonna press this on low heat, so at 265, then you need five seconds. If you're gonna press this at 320 degrees, you only need three seconds. So I press it, that layer, that clear layer that's on top, you peel off, right? Now, because my font is a little bit on the thin side in certain areas, and definitely this right here, is some parts are really thin, um, as I was pulling it off, I felt like I was kind of tugging it a little bit and it was pulling, it, it didn't pull the HTV from the sweatshirt, but I definitely gave it some resistance. So after I took off the clear um, piece, I put protective sheet on here and I just did another three second press. And that's just to make sure that anything that I pulled up is now sunk back into that sweatshirt and it's totally smooth. And again, that was three seconds. That's not gonna kill anything. And now don't do three seconds with heat without something protecting your HTV layer. All right, so let's get into design space. I can show you how to do this. All right, so let me flip this. And I, I love this font. Uh, I'm using two different fonts. And all right, I'm gonna give you the lowdown on how I manage my fonts. Oops, let me switch the camera. Okay, so first thing is, um, I, these sweatshirts are from Amazon. Love the sweatshirts. Um, I will definitely link to it. I like. For these top sweatshirts like mama or like a one word thing, I like it a, between 10 and 11 and a half inches. And I say 11 and a half inches because, or 11 inches, because that's how long my sheets are. Um, I get my my sheets from Polytape um, and they run al about 11 inches. So that's sort of my max, but it's also what fits across, you know, the chest right here. And so I like that like top, um, top layer look. Um, okay. So the two, um, the two fonts that I'm using, and you can always see this, um, I'll go over here. So you, you can click on the letter S for instance, right click on it, and if you scroll down to image info, it will tell you what your font is. Even though it's grayed out, sometimes when you've welded something, you should still be able to see it. So it's called the rivers, and then this one, um, this one is breath. So let me show you what that looks like here. Okay, 
and I love the font selection from Creative Fabrica. So this is what it looks like. And what I liked was when I scrolled over here, I love that the M was a little bit different. I wish that the word smile had more, you know, of these letters, but like I am in love with um, this R. I wanna use this R so badly. <laughs> but okay, so you have this, you download it, okay? But you can see the regular, um, the regular M is this. And the one that I wanna use is this one. So sometimes when you have multiples like that, it doesn't just show up into design space. So what you wanna do is you wanna download your file and I'll download this one even though I've already downloaded the file. And then I click on the pick list here and show in folder. You wanna double click on it and then there's two options here. Um, there's the regular and the italic version. I just want the regular. I hardly ever use italic. Um, so I'm going to double click on open type and install it. I've already installed it, but you won't get that. You'll just get this. Okay. Once I've installed it, what I want to do is I want to grab this and I want to put it in downloads. Then I'm going to go to Creative Fabrica and I'm going to go to tools and font cloud. This is the steps. These are the steps that I take every time I download a font. I went open font cloud. So font cloud is a free, um, a free service on Creative Fabrica. So just open up an account, um, use my link because I still get credit even though you're opening up a free account. So I appreciate the support there. Um, but um, it, it, then you can access your font cloud. So this is how I manage all my fonts. So first of all, the only fonts that I've been using for the last couple years is from Creative Fabrica because if you go back and look at this, every file comes with commercial usage. It's it's allowed. So now I'm not keeping track of my fonts anymore. So I don't care if I only use Creative Fabrica, then I know I can always use it. And if I put it in a cake topper and sell a cake topper, I don't have to worry about it. Now, the other thing that I do is, if you remember, I downloaded it. I extracted the file from the zip folder. And now I'm gonna browse and add it to my font cloud. So I'm gonna go to downloads and the rivers. I'm gonna just double click on it and is now in here. So all the all my fonts that I've ever downloaded from Creative Fabrica, it once you get into a system, and don't worry about it. Like I was crafting for a couple years before I started doing this, and I felt like, oh my gosh, why didn't I start from the beginning? And for for a while, I thought, oh, it's too late. I'm already, you know, two years into crafting. Why should I start? Because the day you start, you start building your collection, and it's you, you'll never look back. So, okay, so now I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna type smile, and I can see all the different ways it looks it with all the different fonts that I have in here. So as you continue to upload it, that doesn't mean that every font that you see on here is available on this device. No, but what, and that's a good thing because when I switch out this computer or when my laptop dies or whatever device you use, if you then get your new computer, I don't need to re-download everything. I'm gonna log into my font cloud because it's web-based. I have access to all the files that are in my font cloud. They're not necessarily on this new device, but if I type, if I know I want the word smile, I type it in and I realize, oh, I want Beach Story. I can then go into Design Space and I can look up system beach story and let's hope I don't have it on here. Oh, but I do have it on here. But if it said no, I don't have it, then I would just go back over here to beach story, click on it and download the font. I'm gonna download it so you can see it. So once I've downloaded, click on it, I can install it. So that's how easy it is. I don't have to worry about the name uh, where did I get it from? Can I track it down? Do I have to worry about it? No, if I like it, so every time I'm just gonna go here, if I like it, I can check if I have it, and if I don't, I'm gonna easily download it. So this is great because if you think about how much longer you're gonna craft, years and years and years, um, to keep track of all your fonts every time you switch a device. So let's say, so I'm on my desktop right now, 
sometimes I design on my laptop. I'm not going to download from both, you know, I mean, I guess if you hadn't, if, if you hadn't Mac, it'd be sim more simple, but I have a regular, you know, non Apple computer and non Apple laptop. So I would have to manage my fonts for both devices. And now I don't need to because I just have font cloud. And when I want to use something, then I download it. And if I didn't need to use that, I didn't need to download it on that device, but it's all in my font cloud. All right. So that's one thing that I use. Now let's go into design space and oops, I already have it. Okay. So let's recreate this smile, right? So I'm going to type in smile. Okay. And, um, select my font and it's called, oh, I don't remember what it's called already. <laughs> it, the rivers, gosh. Okay. So I'm going to type in the rivers and here it is clicked on it. And here it is. So this is a smile and it looks quite different from here, right? Um, so let's ungroup this. I realized that my I was lowercase I, so there's my I. The S is, um, I know that I also use lowercase S, so I'm gonna do lowercase S, okay? And then I resized it. So now my E, I'm gonna do the E lowercase, but it doesn't have that little tail, and my M doesn't have that tail, right? Oops, you can't see my E, sorry. There we go, okay. So the other thing that I use is main type. So if you go, I already have it open and I already have it, but if you just go to Google and type in main type um, font manager, here it is. It's um, main type, high logic. You just click on it and you download it. There's a free version. I just recently up, um, upgraded to a paid version, I honestly have not noticed any difference. So I was using the free version literally up until a month ago. Um, and so what happens is as you download them, they're available in here. So now what I would do is I would go in here and go to the rivers. And here it is. So now I have all these extra options. So here is my M, right? So I click on it. This is the M that I want. It's highlighted. I'm going to hit control C, go back into design space. And as long as when I go in here, my font is the same font that I'm going to drop in control V and paste, um, then it will work. So there is my M, right? And then I need my E. Now I'm going to show you something different. Um, give me, I'm going to change this text to a different text, okay? I'm going to change it to another one. So I'm just going to leave it up here. And I'm just going to leave, do the letter E. So here's E. Now I'm going to go back to main type, okay? And look for that beautiful, elegant E. And it is, that's the regular E. Where is my pretty E? Did I skip over it? Let's see. Where is that? Oh, there it is. <laughs> like, I know it's here. Okay, so I'm gonna hit Control C, okay? Back into Design Space. See how this is a different font? I'm gonna hit Control V, and it's gonna give me this because I was not in the right type font. Now, if I go and do System and do the Rivers, now my E appears. So you gotta make sure that when you go to paste it, that you're pasting in a text box and you're pasting the same font as the font you wanna drop in, okay? So now I have my E. I can remove this E. And I kinda of played around with it. I liked it up here. And then this S, oops. Let me move this down a little bit. Um, I think this S, I moved it up a little bit. 
but you can you can make it a little bit bigger even and move it okay and then what I did was I made this M bigger because I wanted the word so smile your design to I wanted it to fit here so I'm just gonna play around with this M make it a little bit bigger move it over here move my S over a little bit and maybe down some okay and I feel like my M still needs to be moved over a little bit and I did this height the same as this I I'm just trying to match it up but you can you can see you can play with this and then this one this font is breath so I'm gonna do text and I'm going to change it to okay, and I'm going to make this smaller, obviously, because I want it to fit in here. And I wanted it to match it so that it kind of ends close to where this is and that's how you play around with it and this so oops let me move that back sorry make sure you can see this completely um, so it's pretty similar, right? So let me see how big this is. This one is 8.91, so let me make it bigger. And let's see how close I am to the original design. Somewhat, somewhat close to it, right? I mean, you saw, I was just um, looking at by eye, so you can, but you can, you get the picture. So just to recap, Creative Fabrica. <laughs> I love using all my fonts from there. If you want to try it out, I have the $1 trial period. So click on that link, try it out. I, like I said, I've been a member for a couple years now. Two, I use Font Club. Even if you don't get the membership, create the free account through that same link. And uh, just don't pay for the trial period, but just create a free account. Use Font Club. Just start using it. I promise you, it's going to build up so quickly. Um, three, main type. Main type is free. You can use the free version. I do use the paid version, but again, I just started using the paid version about a month ago and I haven't noticed anything. They were saying some fonts don't show up, but like honestly, up until I upgraded, I didn't notice anything, but I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna write it off as a business cost and I just upgraded to see if like I felt anything, but I haven't. Um, and then that's it. And then Polytape HTV, I love it. You saw it. Um, I'll be making more sweatshirts and t-shirts this this summer. Um, I'm gonna try to always do a couple projects a month, mess around with the fonts, mess around with the different colors, just to show you guys how to do things. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. All right, I will talk to you guys later.